it's Julia and today I am doing my next DIY with Julia and um, this was actually a project I've been wanting to do for a really long time. It's your make your own starburst mirror. Starburst mirrors are such an eye catcher. As you can see I can't even like get the whole thing in frame because it is massive. Um, this is in my dining room. I have this very large wall and I knew I needed something really big on that wall because just like a little little picture or something wouldn't cut it. So um, I made this myself using a mirror and branches that I actually bought from Ikea. I spray painted the, these branches gold and they look so cool. Like I don't even know if it's gonna show up really in the video how shimmery and how gold these are. I think it just looks really cool. It really warms up the place. I have received so many compliments from people who come into my house and they're like, oh my gosh, where did you buy that? And they like won't believe the fact that I made this myself. Of course, you can make this uh, smaller version too. Like if you don't have such a big wall and you wanna make it smaller, you can use different, uh, materials like you don't have to use branches. I just like this kind of wild look of the branches. I don't know I thought that looked really kind of neat and they all look a little bit random, you know, so that's kind of what I was going for. I will show you guys how to make that now so keep on watching. What I'm doing now is I'm just taking the branches and I'm cutting them to size. So I measured on the wall that I want to put it on um, about how long I want or how large I want the mirror to be um, with the stakes. So what I'm doing is I'm calculating the size of the mirror and then the length of the branches obviously. So they're going to be on both sides. So when you place it on your wall you want to measure how much space you have from the end of the starburst to the other end of the starburst. So the border where I'm going to be gluing it on is 8 centimeters. So I deducted that from the or added that to the length that I want on the side obviously sticking out so for me it's 58 centimeters so I started cutting them all to 58 centimeters and then I realized that it just looked really uniform so I'm making a couple that are a bit longer so that um, they stick out a bit more and what I'm using for that is just a clipper um, like this and this one is strong enough for these branches because they're not actually that thick so um, I can just clip them, but you could do it with like a little saw or something if you have that. So I just lay them out kind of along the mirror to see how many would cover. And that huge bundle that I bought is only enough for about half the mirror. So I'm going to make some more out of these branches. This is like the ends of that bundle. And I'm going to cut them somehow so that they kind of look like they go with this one. Here are the rest of those branches, the ones that I've trimmed off. And what I did is I cut some more to size. What I don't want is the ends to be, because the ends now just look like this. As you can see, they just kind of look blunt. And I don't really like that look. So now I'm doing, this is truly a labor of love. So now I'm just making the ends a bit pointier and to do that I'm just using um, a Swiss Army knife and just shaving off the ends to make it like a pointy kind of stick because I, I don't know I think it just looks better. I finished um, sharpening up the branches and oh my goodness that was crazy. What I did now is I just arranged it kind of you know how I'm gonna put it on the mirror. Obviously it's gonna look a lot neater once I glue them on side by side. And what I did is I have some you know some longer pieces so I just wanted to make sure that there's kind of you know they're kind of spread around so there's not a bunch of long ones on one side and then a bunch of short ones all like tucked together. So now I've got a glue gun over here which I'm just heating up. Here I'm starting to glue on the branches as you can see. You see the skin is like coming off there. I just burnt myself on that stupid glue gun so be really careful when you do this because it's super hot. <laughs> I have glued on all the branches and it ended up actually being just enough and I think it actually looks cool with the sort of the thicker ones and the thinner ones you can see it there and guys do not underestimate this project I thought this was going to be kind of an easy project and this this took me actually a couple hours not to glue this on because you have to glue on every single branch like by itself you just have to make sure that it like fits and but look at that, I think it's so cool. I'm out on my balcony now, and this was actually really hard to even move because it's kind of hard to like get underneath and grab it because the spikes are out so wide. So I put it on this like block that I have and then um, I taped off the inside now. And it probably would have been a lot easier to do that beforehand because it was really hard for me to reach it. So now I'm going to spray. It is now uh, the next day basically after the last segment and I just sprayed it another time because I felt like it just needed a second coat. So this is what it's looking like right now. As you can see it's 
I don't know if you can really see it in the light, but it's like really, really gold shimmery now. So I'm inside again, and um, it's looking really nice, but I am so upset right now because the, the glue from the hot glue gun is just really not very strong and it just it just doesn't stick well enough like I've, I've tried to make it like super super hot like really let it heat up tons of branches I've had to glue in like over and over because they keep falling off so what I would recommend if you guys are making a really large mirror like this where there's going to be quite a bit of weight on the actual mirror is to use a better glue like I don't really know what to recommend you I, I would say that just to go into a hardware store and explain the project you want you to do and tell them what you're gluing to what type of surface and then tell them that you need the strongest glue available. Do not use hot glue to make a large starburst mirror. It might be fine for smaller ones, like if you're just using like, you know, smaller things. I love the way it's looking. I think it's looking really cool. Um, you know, hopefully like once I mount it to the wall, it's not, hopefully the stuff's not gonna all fall off. That would just piss me off. So that is the finished project. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. There are a couple things that I would probably do different next time. Um, I would probably use a different glue because I felt like the hot glue just wasn't strong enough. It seems to be fine now that it's up, but when you're handling the mirror and when you're having to move it, the hot glue is just not strong enough. So all the branches kept on falling off again. And I actually had to glue a bunch of them back on once it was mounted on the wall. And that leads me to my second conundrum or that's something I would do differently. I would select a mirror that was thicker because when you're mounting on the wall, this one is really flat. So I had nothing to hold on to and especially because these branches are so long. Um, I kept like ripping the branches off um, and that was also combined with the not strong enough glue. It was kind of a nightmare. Um, it was kind of hard to mount this. So we had to do this together. Like my boyfriend and I, we had to um, you know, each person held a side and then we mounted it onto the, the back mount. I'm really pleased with how it came out. I think it looks really decorative and um, yeah, I've had a lot of people commenting on it already and asking me where I bought it. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you did, um, I would really appreciate a thumbs up on this video and you can also send me your pictures with the hashtag DIY with Julia, either on Twitter or you can post them also on my Facebook wall. I'd love to see them. So I hope you guys try out something like this. It's really fun and I will see you guys soon. Bye.